Here we have a converging lens and a diverging lens. Each has an object in front of it. In each diagram, there are three rays coming from the tip of the object striking the lens. Please draw the rays coming out of the lenses to show the continuation of these rays. A converging lens converges light, so the paraxial ray is going to get bent and go to the focal point. So this ray is going to go through the focal point this way. The ray that goes to the center is going to go straight. Keep going. So this ray is going to keep going. The ray that goes through the focal point is going to get reflected parallel to the principal axis because the light rays are retraceable. The ray that comes in parallel to the principal axis is going to get bent through this focal point. So the ray that goes through the focal point is going to get refracted and bent parallel to the principal axis. The three rays meet here, so this is where the image is formed. Since this image is formed by the real light rays meeting over here, we get a real image. A diverging lens does not really focus light. It's going to diverge the light, so the paraxial ray is not going to go to the focal point, but its extension would go to the focal point. So I guess have to make the extension to the focal point and this ray would come out that way. The ray that goes to the is going to just go straight through. So this ray goes straight through. And the, the ray that has the extension goes to the focal point is going to get refracted and bent parallel to the principal axis because the light rays are retraceable. If this ray comes in from this way, paraxial ray, it is going to get bent away from the principal axis with its extension going to the focal point. So the ray with its extension going to the focal point will get refracted and bent parallel to the principal axis. Now, of course, these three rays will never meet to form real image, but their extensions would meet back here. And that's where our image is formed. Since it is formed by light ray extensions, this is a virtual image. Again, just for the purpose of finding the location of an image, we only need to draw two rays any two of those three rays can help us find the location of the image.